What's up, Armada Maniacs? Rob Bear here today with two of my good friends. We got John Yi. Hey guys, what's going on? And James. What's up? And they are throwing down. This is this is the big fight. This is gonna be two ISDs versus two Star Cruisers. Spiky bits. Make sure you stay in the trenches by becoming a supporter over on Patreon and also scoring yourself some free miniature swag in the process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out our site, spikybits.com, for all the hot hobby tutorials, news, rumors on all your favorite hobby topics. And head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. So let's take a closer look at the list here because uh, I'm a little excited to see about, about some uh, gladiatorial combat between the two capital ships. So what are you running on these? <laughs> what are you running on these Star Cruisers here? So they're basically uh, exactly the same. Um, got Dodonna, Gunnery Team, uh, Spinal Arm, Mon Karen on one, Medical Team for the crew car that will never show up. And the X-17 and then Intel Officer. And then on the next one, basically the same thing, it's just Liberty. You know, just so I can Word. get that flights. Then I got uh, two transports, one with Leia, you know, just to, to, for that emergency, I need to change my command. Comms net, just dishing out tokens like crazy. Okay. And then for squads, we got Janors with two X-Wings and Dash. Dash would be the beat stick. Jan to basically say, hey, X-Wings, here's a brace. I like it. X-Wings need a little break every now and then. And then basically everything in there, you know, going for the crit for Dodonna except for Jan, she doesn't have it. So all these guys both have Bomber, making making them pretty susceptible to base up damage. And the evil, evil empire over here is rocking <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so the first ISD, we're, we're rocking Ling Shot, TCM, Intel Officer, XI-7, Relentless, and Gunnery Team. Okay. Uh, the second one, I I'm, I had to be careful on points, so he didn't get quite as many, but he still got Intel Officer, ECM, Gunnery Team, and XI-7. Solid choices. Yep. So, and then I got a Raider because anti-squadron. It was either bring squadrons or bring a fourth activation, which I chose a fourth activation. Okay. Um, so I got the Raider with uh, Assault Proton Torpedoes, and then I got the Gazani over here with ComsNet holding my my Admiral, which is Mahdi. So getting uh, 14 hold points on those ISDs is definitely a plus. Well, I hope, I hope Mahdi's comfortable on that, that small cramped ship. Oh, so, yeah? Dude, instead of the big ISD. Mahdi's got it. Mahdi's yeah. got it. <laughs> <laughs> Word. All right. Well, we are going to play Contested Outpost. There you can see it right there. So the guys are getting ready to set up, and we'll come back with their setup here in a minute. All right, so going into turn one, you can see the deployment here. James is all up on the outpost, of course. It seems, seems smart, given the mission. And we've got John over here with one of the Rebel Transports and the rest of the fleet down range. But at speed three, so I feel like they can close the distance pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. So turn one's over. Um, I, not a lot happened. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody even shot. Very disappointing. You guys, you guys got to do better. No, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll happen. Uh, judging by the positioning of things, relatively soon. Actually, I don't think there's gonna be much shots next this turn now either. No. Y'all the worst. We are. We're, <laughs> we're, tr we're trying to show some action here. Gosh, no, it's okay. So it'd be a really exciting uh, end of the video series, I feel like. But uh, a lot going on, you know. Uh, you're going to get some points for turn, that contested yeah, outpost. I get uh, 20 points for the contested outpost, and turn 30 is going to be where all the firing is at. Yeah, definitely. And the bombers coming in might uh, might definitely help with the uh, dropping the shield arcs or hull zones and such. It's still anybody's game at this point, I feel like. So, going into turn three, so that was just turn two. Uh, again, no shots. Called it. Called it. <laughs> but I feel like there's going to be some stuff happening here. 
Uh, because remember, what's the range you need to stay within contested outpost? Just the range highest command. Range one. Range one, highest command value? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, I dig it. So that could still happen for at least another turn for you at the very least. So interesting stuff here, interesting stuff. There's definitely about to be a firefight straight out of Boondock Saints, but in space. So we didn't record this one live, but I wanted to cut in real quick in the middle of three and talk about the, the fire going back and forth here. So the far Star Cruiser did a little bit of damage. I uh, got what two two hull, damage from two hull through on you. Now the difference between a Star Cruiser is the Star Cruiser has what two brace, two mm -hmm. brace and one redirect, and, one and redirect. the ISD has two redirects and one brace. So uh, it makes the Intel Officer game a little bit uh, a little bit trickier. But now when the other Star Cruiser came in here, did a whole bunch more, and of course you know you're fishing for the crits with Dodonna. Uh, which, you know, is always uh, a valid strategy, I feel like. So only two more damage came through, I feel like, right? Yeah, on so, the uh, Raider. So, you, so you're down to a massive... Oh, no, I'm talking on the, uh, the ISD. Oh, yeah, two more. So I have... So you still got ten hull points. Nine. Nine, okay. So, yeah, still nine hull points because of Mahdi, which, <laughs> which is uh, always good. But it's going to lead up to turn four. A lot of stuff is going to... A lot of fire is going to get exchanged here, I feel like. Man, so turn three turned out to be quite a little firefight, but I'm sure turn four will be even bigger of a firefight, judging by that positioning there. Might be losing some dice to obscure it, but I don't think it's too bad, too bad off there. So the ISD in gray has taken what? How many damage? Uh, six damage. Six damage, and this Star Cruiser is down to what? One shield in the front. One shield in the front, and he's taking a damage. No, he so. has no shields in the front. Oh, he's got no. Shields oh, for ramming. So, and then this one has no shields in the front as well. So everything else is looking pretty good at this point. Raiders hurting. Got a front shield down. So it's probably going to get piled on by some of the fighters, I imagine. We'll see. So turn four about to happen, and it's getting a little hectic. Oh man, I was a little quick on the draw there, but that is the roll for the Star Cruiser on the Great ISD, and that is that is no bueno for not <laughs> for not being able to brace and only being able to redirect one with XI seven. Uh, so, I feel like yeah, it's got fourteen hole. There were six damage already done. I can redirect one, which still keeps it at eight, eight total damage. I can mm. contain it, but it's still no matter what eight damage. So that's fourteen hole, and it takes out the ISD. Yeah, that's just, that's just brutal. Just getting through everything right there. Yeah. Mm. He is not going to make it to Bad Boys 3. Nah. He's out. Alright, so James's last ISD is going to activate, but unfortunately he d he only has, what, front arc on... On the side and the side, side. the front. So that's interesting. So you're going to open up with the, with the front with first? With the front to the side. Alright. And I will... Spin my concentrate fire to reroll this, and I'll add a add a red. All right, for three. So I'll accuracy everything for so three. <laughs> two shields on the side. I feel like three's and then three. one damage. Yep, yeah. and then uh, two red, two blue from the side to the front. I'll accuracy one brace until officer the other brace for three. Uh. Two. You know what? I I feel like he's still alive, which is amazing. Um, yeah, that was a horrible first roll. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he had a god horrible roll, and you roll. you not so much. I I, I, ex I expected him to die, so I'm 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 not gonna burn the brace quite yet. I'll go ahead and take the three. Yep. Which will put me down. Five, so I have I have three left. Okay. So that's it for turn four. We're going into turn five now. And would you believe that that little Gazani right there got a one blue critical on <laughs> on that Liberty and uh, took it out with a double damage face up card? Yeah. 
It happens sometimes. <laughs> well, you did roll like nine hits. So I, you're, did, I did. I mean, so I feel like you can't be bad. I, I can't be too mad. No. Yeah, but that was that was really interesting. I was like, did that just happen? Hmm. So, like I said, going into turn five here, definitely about to be interesting. I think John has a slight advantage activating first with that Liberty back there. And um, oh, I think the what the Raiders down the one hole. Raiders down the one hole. So. Very interesting still, and you get more contested outpost okay. points. Yep. We get to add a dice on this one. I'm gonna add a red. Going, going for broken. Jeez. It's happened Oof. every time. And that's two, four, front six, to his eight, side eight, there. Ten. Two, four, six, wow, eight. Good. Ten damage to his side. Basically, gonna accuracy everything he's got. He's got ECM. So we're gonna, but we're gonna intel officer that brace this turn. Hmm. And with Mon Karen, he can only use one anyways. All right, so still at full health though. Still at full health. 14 holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and contain. use a contain. Okay. I'm gonna, so you, you I can't redirect, right? No, you can only do one token. Okay, so the debate's over. Five got through on the side with what two damage and one crit, and you two. got to choose the crit. I get to choose my crit, and basically he can only target a ship once per activation. And probably more importantly, is he lost your brace? Lost my brace, mm. but it had. But you're still alive, and you got 12 full points still. 11. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, going into turn six, it's getting getting a little crazy here. We got. Both ships exchanging a lot of fire here. I feel like the ISD is a little bit worse for wear currently. No, I have 11 hole left. You only get 6 left. Mm, that's but true. He does have me, but he does have me double art. And, and he does, he activate, does first. activate first. There is that. This is the last turn. This is for all the marbles. He's got to get them points in right now. Or you could say right meow. And here goes the Star Cruiser. What are you shooting? Front to Front side. Front to side. We have it double arced. He's I gotta get eleven damage through. He's got no brace left. So let's see what we what can happen. But I have a concentrate fire command and a token. Oh boy. So that's what I like to see. Looks like we're gonna add a red to this. And we're gonna re-roll that red for one damage. A little bit better. A little right. bit better. So I'm looking at two, two four, six, four, seven. six, seven damage. Alright, so I'll and two accuracy. Redirect one. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no, um, since there's no crits, I'm going to intel officer your redirect. Okay. And accuracy both of them. So you'll have to ECM it. I'm still going to ECM, ECM the contain. The redirect. Yeah. So and it's one. Take one. Take one away. So you'll take six. Six. Seven. six. Still right. alive. Still alive with five hit points. Now side arc. Now side to front for accuracy, a crit, and a hit. So since he had to use his ECM, I'm gonna accuracy, and the redirect's gone. I'll accuracy the contain, and he'll have to take a hit and a crit. All right. So there's the four for the crits, and there's one hit. And what is that up to? That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. So no matter what he survives, he's gonna survive with at least at least two whole points, maybe more. Until the bombers get into him. So basically, I'm gonna change. Uh, the opponent may either reduce your speed by one or choose a new command on your command dial. So we're gonna change this to a squadron, I believe. Sounds good. <laughs> that would be helpful. <laughs> I mean, I definitely for, needed it. The retaliatory attack. Definitely needed the uh, squadrons for my uh, flotilla. So, Nagasani. ISD mm. still still alive. And you got to speed one maneuver? Got to do, gotta gotta do it with the fighters now. So, the game's over. The uh, He almost had a chance there to get in with Jan. Jan did some damage and the dash got in, but couldn't. Uh, he put that shield up with the engineering and dash couldn't capitalize on it, I guess. Basi yeah, basically both X-Wings rolled uh, blanks with reds, which just happens. 
Yeah, red, know, and red, then, it's easy. <laughs> then Dash double blanked out. So, you know, he's down. he was down to, what, two or three hit points left, hold yeah. left. You know, there was a good possibility with four ships rolling. That they had, because they had to take him out, because with Leia, Leia basically dying, you know, yeah. and uh, his points for contested outposts, he wins. Uh-huh. 249 to, what was it? 219. 216, something like that. Yeah, something. So, interesting turn of events. Still a very close game for these two juggernauts. You know, pretty much very close on points. If it wasn't for the contested outpost, I feel like John probably would have had it there. But points wise, yeah, you had me. It was the uh, points from the contested outpost that saved me, though. Yeah, ship wise, it looks very still even. Um, but you know, the rebels can really pack on the pack on the pain in each ship there. So it was a good one, I feel like. So what do you guys, uh, John? What are you thinking about your list? What, what did you like? What did you not like about the two uh, victories? So or I not victory, I basically, <laughs> I mean. I, I've been running this list for a while, and I've been doing very well with it. If it honestly wasn't for one uh, one lucky shot here, this guy was definitely dead. Um, yeah. And oh, with the Gazanti, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, with with the firepower I'm dishing out, I can almost stand toe to toe with two ISCs. Now I've wrapped around a little bit longer, so it took him a lot longer to get into the fight because of it. But it took your it took your flanking ship as well. He but, didn't get his full advice either. He didn't, but he did when he needed to. That's and, true, and, and that's what that's what was mo uh, most important. These guys were able to take out the raider, you know, squadrons again. This is my squadron configuration, basically, because they all they all benefit from each other. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, the two star cruisers, uh, two, two two medium transports, basically giving out token after token, and you know, having four activations that's huge. Yeah, I think that's I think that's good for both. Well, so what did you like about the two ISD lists? What would you change maybe next? Um, honestly, it's the the four activations was nice. Um, I think that you think that's a standard. I mean, I feel like it's but, a standard. These well, days. It, it's kind of becoming a standard because there's there's just so many options. But with the four activations mm -hmm. on a double ISD list, I had to include the Raider with assault proton torpedoes, which never got used. Never got used. Uh. Um, but I mean, that's only five points. But at the same time, I did it at the cost of squadrons. Um, I could have definitely dropped down to three activations and thrown some squadrons in there instead of the raider and possibly done more damage. Mm -hmm. If if not, just tied up his and and gone from there. But yeah, that's the. I really can't say too much else about it. Uh, it did what it was supposed to. I stayed at pretty much speed one the entire game on contested outposts, picked, up, outpost, picked yeah. up the tokens, mm -hmm. and made them come to me. And Oh, you, oh, you took your... Uh, yeah, I was like, I, you had a fat stack. Yeah, I had a nice five stack <laughs> but uh, of 100 points. And that yeah, so that was 100 points right there. And my the whole purpose of my double ISD list was just to kind of sit there and have them come to me, which is exactly what happened. And I mean, it worked in my benefit with him ramming himself with the uh, flotillas also because I only had to do very little damage yeah, to the flotillas and I got those hurt. extra points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like I said, the, the, the thing with the Star Cruisers, you, you, you touched on it before with the double brace and the single from the ISD. Yeah. So the Intel officer game is so much harder now because, and then especially with Mon Karen, he was, he was basically forced, like, I have to use this early and to get rid of it where he tried to intel officer my braces but with no accuracies i'm like yeah. well I'll, I'll use the other yeah he was at a disadvantage yeah. now if he had been getting more blues he probably would have had more accuracies but yes. he wasn't rolling a whole lot of blues because of the range and and that was another there. thing is why i wanted to stay at longer ranges to start with yeah no i feel like too you definitely want to stutter step when you're approaching isds or hit him at, hit him at that flank like he did so I feel like I feel like it was a very good game. Like you know, it didn't seem very eventful at first, but no. that, that definitely poured on the heat last couple of turns there. So yeah, that uh, eleven damage in one roll definitely hurt. Yeah, the, the, uh... the, the, yeah, the nine <laughs> that that one too was pretty pretty brutal. And then, I, then loving that ISD taking out the uh, Liberty just like, from downtown. That wouldn't even happen because he would he wouldn't even no. be able to shoot because it can take the Gazani. The Gazani was the it. one that. That took the yeah, liberty yeah. out with if the it one blue green. Any other mission, yeah, you wouldn't even able to make that shot. That was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, "What? Why are you even rolling? Why are you rolling dice? Oh, I'm just gonna kill this. No big deal. Oh, okay, yeah. 
the no look. The, the one face up and the, the, the prayer. <laughs> yeah. No, Just, so, so. Man, that was it. That was a good game. Thanks, guys. We'll, we'll see you all next time on the Space Curves. Deleted scenes, bonus content, all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.